Welcome to Cardboard Box. Today we're looking at... Hey, hey, what's going on here? I'm reviewing Gears? What's it look like? But I want to review Gears. Oh, uh, well, um, fair enough. Your channel and all that, I, I guess. Um, why don't we review it together? Hmm, alright, let's do it. Today we're looking at MS-16 Rock. Ro? Uh, Rocky? Roque! It's Gears, okay? It's Gears. It's Mechanic Studios Gears. Mechanic Studio is a sub-brand of Mech Fans Toys. The parent brand is well known for making KOs, but I'm happy to say that all the toys by Mechanic Studio seem to be original designs. They don't do KOs. But doesn't he come with that Diaclone mech? Okay, okay, that is a KO. But we're not interested in talking about the Diaclone guy. And neither is Gears for that matter. Ugh. Now you know I like doing my videos in vehicle mode first. Are you okay with that? He... He just booted that guy! Are we not gonna talk about that? I, I'm not sure it's safe to. Are you sure you want to talk about that? I... I guess not. So, you're the car guy. You want to tell us what kind of vehicle Gears is? I... Okay. Well, that's kind of the funny thing. Uh, this particular version is very much based on his cartoon appearance and therefore isn't really based on any one particular kind of truck. The closest approximation I could find was a mid-50s Dodge M37 hauling a bunch of stuff in the back. And even that is a bit of a stretch. But then again, unlike the larger car-based characters, most of the Minibot G1 toys were only close approximations to their real-world counterparts. So, I'm gonna go with B, Jeremy. A mid-50s Dodge M37. Final answer. Oh, uh, I thought he was a blue and red truck. Well, I... I, I mean... Yeah. Alright, fine, he's a red and blue truck. He sure is. Do you mind if we look at how he looks compared to other vehicles? Are they also red and blue trucks too? No, this one's brown and sand colored. Here he is next to Titan Returns Outback. It's just a retool of Braun though. Yeah, but I don't have Braun here, but I do have Outback. So, gear scales really well with all the Legends class minibots. He does? Don't you think so? Do you really want to get me started? Well, okay, so he doesn't exactly scale. Here's another Legends figure, and he's blue. But now the scale's even worse. But he's blue. What does that have to do with scale? Moving on. Here's how he looks from the side. Here's how he looks from the back. And here how he looks from the other side. Wait, 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 go back. What? You ever notice how they kind of look like Easter Island Moe heads? Well, now I can't unsee that, thanks. Oh, you're most welcome. Now on to accessories. There's a port up top where you can place either of these two included weapons. Thank goodness for the 5mm port system. The more the merrier in terms of accessories for all the cast. Actually, it's not quite 5mm. It's slightly smaller. It's so small in fact that the guns themselves are super tight and I don't want to push them down. I'm afraid I'll stress the plastic. Well that sounds right annoying. Totally. The silver gun is even tighter. That's a shame. That's the one that looks leagues better than the black one. Yeah, it totally does. Which is why I'm worried about using it. I don't want to scratch the paint off. Yeah, I can see that. Anyway, should we get on to transformation? Sure, his transformation is very basic, much like the original gears. The hardest part is actually untabbing the wheels and unfolding the legs. There's a little bit of plastic flexing. After that, he has this amazingly delightful way of the wheels folding into the calves, and I really like that. And that torso compression totally reminds you of Titan's beach comer. Yeah, and the arms hinge down just like Outback. You can definitely see where the cues from where the other mainline Legends figures have inspired the design here. Yet despite some borrowed engineering ideas, he's very much his own bot. He has a chunky look that's almost chibi in nature. He's quite cute. This is how he looked compared to his G1 toy, and this is how he looked in the cartoon. And might I say he is looking just spot on compared to the animation appearance. I'd say he's a pretty good mixture of both toy and cartoon aesthetic. True, though really it's not like anything could be done to avoid the tires on the shoulders, especially when dealing with this scale. He's definitely miles better when compared to the Thrilling 30 gears. This is very true. That was clearly intended to be swerve and unfortunately didn't translate well over to gears. Thankfully, Mechanic Studio came along because between these two releases was six years without a good looking gears. Speaking of good looking releases, here he is next to Power of the Primes Beachcomber and Power of the Primes Outback. And where they didn't look 100% accurate in terms of scale and vehicle mode, they look phenomenal together in robot mode. All these three bots share a very similar quality and transformation. However, Gears is built to a much higher standard. Where those two have hollow parts, Gears is a solid figure with no hollow parts. Gears also has something, well, 
two somethings that the other two don't have. What's that? Guns! Oh, don't get me started about them guns. What's wrong with the guns? The metallic one looks great! Just like in vehicle mode, it doesn't peg into his hands overly well. You mean his hands are just as tight as the port on his roof? Yeah, that's right. Bummer. At least the black gun fits a little better. So at least he's not completely defenseless on the battlefield? Let's move on to articulation. His head can't rotate all the way around, but he still gets a decent amount of range. He can also move backwards and forwards just a little bit. Sometimes his giant noggin can get in the way of his arms. Which aren't terribly articulated either. The shoulders are on a ball joint with a separate armature to allow for shrugging. The elbow joint spins around and bends 90 degrees. And while they easily could have made this a simple ball joint, I much appreciate that it wasn't. His legs can go back this far, go forward this far, and he has thigh rotation. Take that, Huffer. He can do the splits this far and has a knee bend that's slightly less than 90 degrees. Much like other Legend Class figure from this era, he doesn't have waist articulation. Aw, oh, man. That means he can't pull off that whole superhero pose. No, but he can walk. Oh, hey, look who's back. It's Mr. Diaclone. Yeah, I wasn't really interested in getting this guy. He came with gears, but he's actually quite good on his own. He really is. Like, when I got my copy, I left mine in the box until I started filming their version of Huffer, and was pleasantly surprised by how much engineering went into these guys. They transform, their articulation is far more versatile, and it comes with its own assortment of accessories that actually integrate way better than Gear's weapons do. Yeah, he even has a better walk cycle. Oh no! No love for Mr. Diaclone! I guess those guns couldn't save him from Gears. Those guns have 3mm ports, which means Outback and Beach Bomber can use those weapons in their vehicle modes. Pew pew pew! So, that was Gears. I know you have them as well. Why did you buy him, and what made you like him? See, I bought Gears when I was coming back into the channel and looking to complete my collection in the unit class duration scale as opposed to Masterpiece. Looking at the options, there was an expensive eye gear that I wasn't a fan of visually, and the Thrilling 30, which I really wasn't a fan of. And around that time, this guy had just been announced, so I decided to wait. And lo and behold, this is a fantastic representation of the Legend scale. I feel he looks the part, his articulation isn't terrible, it, it's serviceable even and he just fits in great without straying too far from the source material. And he's blue and red. In general, I've really enjoyed all these Legends class offerings from Hasbro. Not only does Gears fit in with that line, he shows how much better a toy can be when it's made to just a little bit higher standards. Coming fresh off an Earthrise cliff jumper with amazing brakes, I can wholeheartedly agree. I bought this Gears because I wanted to support the original designs in Mechanic Studio, and because he's so cute. Well, you're not wrong there. Quite frankly, all the Mechanic Studio releases have been quite aesthetically pleasing. If you want to check out my review of their version of Puffer, a little card should be showing right about now. Oh, nice plug. Well, I gotta do something while I'm invading someone else's channel. Thanks everyone for watching. So, what do you think I should review next? Should I do Titans Returns Fangry or Power of the Primes Outback? You decide. Vote in the poll up above. Would you stop stealing my lines? This has been the Lazy Eyebrow. See you next time. That's still my line. Stop stealing my lines. <laughs>